going to say James 1, 2, and 4. My brothers and sisters, you will face all kinds of trouble. When you do, think of it as pure joy. Your faith will be trusted. You know that when this happens, it will produce in you the strength to continue. And you must allow this strength to finish its work. Then you will be all you should be. You will have everything you need. Hey everyone, good morning. I'm super glad to have you join us. And Caleb, thanks for kind of being my guinea pig today. You're going to help me with something. Caleb does not know what he's going to do. So all of his reactions will be first time. Thanks for being here. We're going to be learning this week a lesson on showing honor. And our main verse is going to be from Romans 12. Romans 12 verse 10 says, Love one another with brotherly affection outdo one another in showing honor. And we're going to be talking more about what that means. Caleb, you are a little brother. You have four older siblings. Is it easy to have brotherly affection and show love to people in your house? Not a lot. Not a lot? Sometimes is it easy? Sometimes. And sometimes is it really hard? What about outdoing one another in showing honor that means like really respecting and caring for the people in your home. Is that easy? No. Not exactly. Okay. Well, thanks for being honest. I want you to help me illustrate something, okay? I brought a bag of chocolate chips. Do you like chocolate chips? I would like you to take one of these and just put it in your mouth and let it slowly kind of melt in there. Tell me how you feel about that chocolate chip. Good. Uh, what are some words that come to your mind for how it is in your mouth? Yummy, tasty, sugary. Ooh, yummy, tasty, sugary. That's the... Um, chocolatey. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, are you done with that chocolate chip? <laughs> While you're finishing, I also brought a bag of ice. And now I want you to try this ice. The thing is, you didn't spit out the chocolate chip. You can't spit out the ice either, okay? So here, I don't want you to have to have one that's too big. Yeah. How about this one? Uh, yeah, let's go a little bit bigger. Here, take that piece of ice, pop it in, and just why don't you let that melt on your tongue. And while he does that, let's talk about honor. Honor is when you look at someone else and you want them to have uh, rewards or blessings or praise and to be appreciated and you work to help that other one be appreciated. Caleb, how you doing over there? <laughs> is it cold in your mouth? Okay, keep it in there, keep it in there. Now. Caleb right now is really caught up with what's going on in his mouth. His face is a little bit red. He's starting to wiggle. You okay? Keep the mouth shut. Keep that ice in there. You doing okay there? No, is it really cold? Sometimes it's hard to show honor because we're so caught up in what's happening in our own lives. Caleb, are you having a hard time? Do you want to spit that out or is it almost gone? Okay, he's going to chew it. Okay. Caleb is very caught up in what's mm. going on. Now, Caleb, how was that in your mouth? Mm. I want you to quickly take another chocolate chip, put it in your mouth, right in front. Now, tell me, do you taste sugary, sweet? Can you taste all those things? You can't? Why not? Does it taste yummy and wonderful? Can you taste anything? Not really. You froze your tongue. And so those taste buds aren't aware. Sometimes when you're all caught up with what's going on in you, you can't be aware of something else. And that's kind of like honor. When the kids in the home are all caught up in their own life or the moms and dads are all caught up in their own life, then they don't even notice the good qualities. Just like that ice, you were all, your mouth was full of that freezing and you can't even taste the good qualities of a chocolate chip. 
So that's an illustration of how honor can struggle. If you're someone who struggles to show honor, you might need to be asking the Lord, would you help me to not be so caught up in my own life that I can't even see the good qualities in others? Thanks, Caleb, for helping me out here. You're Would welcome. you uh, like a few more chocolate chips? Yes, please. Um, have you melted? Can you taste them now? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh my goodness, that was so cold. I almost thought I was going to have to spit that out. That was awful. So when the kids were really little, it was hard in our house to show honor and brotherly love. Actually, it still is sometimes, isn't it? But we put Romans 12.10 to music, and we'd like to teach it to you now. There's little motions to help you remember. It goes like this. Be kindly affectionate to one another. Okay, it's kind of like we're shaking hands. Yeah. So say that with us. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. Very good. And the next part says, in honor preferring one another. Then you kind of bow, like you're giving respect to each other. And then you say it fast. Kindly affectionate with brotherly love. Love, love. All right, so let's go ahead and try this with the music. Noah, will you give us an intro? Here we go. showing honor. So Duffrey and Billy Bob are here and they're going to help us just talk this through. Come on up guys and we can talk about in honor preferring one another. You go first Billy Bob. You, you do. You, you go first. Me. No, no, you gotta go first. No, you go first. No. Come on up. We want to talk about outdoing one another with honor. Okay, Billy Bob, you go first. Me. Yes, Me. you go first. Me. Uh, okay, hold on. On the count of three, both of you come up. One, two, three. <laughs> Guys, what, what is that all about? Well, I was trying to honor and prefer Billy Bob. Oh, and Billy Bob, were you trying to in honor prefer Duffrey? Yes. Oh, well, thank you. This is true. Sometimes, like, letting someone go before you in a line or something, that can be a way to show honor. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But when you start arguing about it, that's probably missing the point a little, oh, don't you think? Maybe. But it's okay. Just think about this. In your home, if you outdid each other to show honor, maybe that means when mom sends around a plate of cookies that you wouldn't take the biggest for yourself. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is that hard to think of, Jeffrey and Billy Bob? Mm -hmm. Billy Bob, you like the biggest cookie, don't you? <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Mm -hmm. So outdoing each other to show honor, that might mean if your family's been away and somebody did a good job, instead of being a tattletale, you mm -hmm. tell tales of good things they've done. Like maybe a yeah. little brother or sister did a good job on something and you tell your mom and dad. That's another way to show honor. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and if someone tries to honor you, you need to be gracious and receive it. Like Billy Bob, if Duffrey says, go ahead first, you can say, oh, thank you. And then you can honor them back by saying, you are so kind. Yeah. You want to try that really quick? Sure. Okay. Let's pretend again, go on down, that you're going to come up and Duffrey, you try again to honor Billy Bob. Billy Bob, you go first. honor in return. Good job, guys. Boom. Honor. Treating people as special, doing more than what's expected, and having a good attitude. An important part about showing honor is delighting to honor, having joy in honoring someone else. It means that when you help someone or give them the better thing or praise them for something they've done, that you do it with joy in your heart, not with a begrudging <laughs> or spirit. Oh, uh, Gramps! Hey, Hi. Miss Carly, how's it going? I'm good, how are you doing? Uh, good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, well, you know I had an idea. You did? Yes, what is I it? was thinking to myself, you know, I should congratulate some people more. You know those young whippersnappers? I'm kind of old and yelling at them, you know. Yeah, I thought. I, I've heard that a little what bit. What if. I had a cleaning competition, a and competition. I could reward the youngest guy, you know, a, yeah. a gold you, medal. Oh, a gold medal? Like for whoever does the best job cleaning? That's right. I did notice the puppet stage is a little bit in disarray. That's right, so, and I've always been yelling at them. Oh. I think I should do something a little bit better now and give them some encouragement. That sounds amazing. You've got a smile on your face. It seems like you feel excited at the thought of honoring one of the youth. Why, yes, I do. Oh, that's <laughs> Let's do it. Good plan. All righty. So all the puppets were super excited to have a competition to clean up the stage, and I think they're almost ready. Gramps, is everything ready back there? Why, yes, it is. Just about. All right. Do you want to count down to the start? All right. Hey, guys, you ready? <laughs> all right. Here okay. we go. Three, two, one. something that actually makes the other person feel bad yeah I, I was a little embarrassed I didn't know what to say okay well sarcasm is something that we can avoid it's a way to show honor by just saying oh you're so kind that's an easy thing to say that honors the other person well you're so kind <laughs> oh thank you that's good thanks guys it's just a lesson we can learn all right, we are ready for the gold medal. Oh, I've got it right here. Oh, goodness. Come on up, puppets. Let's hear who won the cleaning competition. Ooh. Hey, how did it go, guys? You ready for the reward? Yeah. yeah. Gramps, there's only one first place ribbon here. Who did you see doing the best cleanup? So, the best cleanup is going to be... <gasps> Wow! Uh, wow! Thank you, you so much. You did a very good 
job cleaning. I'm very proud to reward you with this. Oh, that's Good amazing. job! Wow. We're so proud Good of you! Job. So uh, yeah! You know, I'm noticing something else though. You guys look like you're really happy for Billy. Are you glad for him? Oh, yes! yes. We're very glad! You are? You know, that's another part of honor. Honor is when you want more honor for someone else than you even want for yourself, and you can enter into the joy when they receive it. And when I see you guys celebrating with Billy, it makes me think that you guys all have done an excellent job. Fine. Way to go, guys. Wow, thank you so you much, guys. Thank you. And I'm glad the puppet stage got cleaned up. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 example of an honor preferring others is Jesus Christ. He's our Lord and our example. And listen to this story. In John 13 is when Jesus washed his disciples' feet. They were dirty and stinky. They walked in sandals on the road and they had like camels and cows and donkeys everywhere. Can you imagine how their feet might stink? And Jesus, it says that he took water and a towel and he washed their feet. He took care of them. And then listen to what he said here. He said, do you understand what I've done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I've given you an example that you should do just as I have done. So Jesus gave us this example that he wanted us to in honor, prefer each other. And he showed us how when he humbled himself and he actually did the job that a servant would normally do. And that's hard. He knew it would be hard for us to in honor, prefer each other, to outdo each other in showing honor. And so he gave us his good example. And if he asked us to do it, don't you think that he will help us to learn to show honor to others? We're going to have Miss Michelle pray for us now and pray a blessing on us that we would be able to have hearts full of honor and brotherly love for each other. Hello, I am out on the Gnome Beach. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. Thank you, Lord, that we can honor you and for your many blessings. Lord, help us to, to honor our parents, Lord. And also that we will get along with, with our family, Lord, with our neighbors and our friends and our siblings. Lord, I know that that makes you happy and makes your heart happy when we get along with each other. Help us to love each other, Lord, and to honor you. We thank you, Jesus, for, for your many blessings. In your precious name, amen. Hey, guys, let's end with our scripture song one last time. You ready? Because...